It doesn't look like much during the day, but at night, Dominion Gardens Park in Georgetown will look more like this very soon. Light Up the Hills starts next week. Board chair of the nonprofit organization and the woman behind the annual event, Jerry Kentner, says they are excited to get year 14 going. We're able to have the event, not the event on December 1st as it has been with the stage and the whole show because of COVID. So we've missed that last year and this year. But the important thing we think is the lights and the people coming out and the family and the warmth and the passion that everybody has for it. It brings everybody together. It's such a community organized and enjoyed event for sure. Now in this moment right here, Kentner starts to get emotional. So I had to ask. It's so emotional. It's very passionate because... Oh, just because I thought of it and it's gone so well and there's so many people that help and work on it and everybody enjoys it so much. It's like the Santa Claus parade is a tradition and this has become a tradition too and I never thought that would happen. So here we are and we're carrying on moving forward. Moving forward with Kentner is fellow board member Michelle Cameron, who helps with the logistics in getting these lights up at the park. She says it is a lot of work to put together. And we put up uh, probably over 100 strings of light. I really do mean to count them, but it's so busy trying to put everything up that that's just something that falls to the bottom of the to-do list every year. We have between seven and ten volunteers come out for about four Saturdays in a row. We put up the lights, we, uh, we connect everything with extension cords, miles and miles of extension cords get put up, and we have a number of businesses that also help and uh, put lights up. One of them is Classic Displays, so they take care of all our large um, displays that you see around town here uh, at the park and they do all the maintenance on it. They, they set them up for us to take them down in the spring and maintain them over the year and store them which is very important because they take up a lot of room. Now Light Up the Hills is more than just lights you will see. It is also a fundraising event with a draw for Maple Leafs tickets, holiday cards for purchase and what Marilyn Sargentson says is the most special item, memory balls. We have um, special little plastic or, or glass uh, Christmas balls that people put the names of loved ones who have passed away and we put them on our special memory tree which is just behind me and people during uh, Light Up the Hills come and they look at our memory tree and you see lots of people standing and reflecting and thinking about people who are not here today. And we also have a wreath this year to remember people who have passed from COVID. And actually my mother passed this year from COVID. So it's really a very um, personal, you know, and, and it's really good to remember. And it's a nice way to remember. Light Up the Hills is looking for volunteers. So if you are interested in helping out, you can go to lightupthehills.com for details. Kentner says this project, which began as a dream, is successful because of the residents that come here and the people who support it. People come out every night, they come the whole month. Um, everybody's, all the programs have gone well, the fundraising, the sponsors, the community, all of our projects and all their teams at work. I just sit at the head of the chair and organize everybody and, and uh, do what I can do to, to bring it all forth. For Halton News in Georgetown, I'm Melissa Candelaria.